body language. Sometimes they blow bubbles, bump into each other, or even scratch each other with their teeth, causing rake marks. These are the multi-line marks that you might see on the skin of killer whales and dolphins. It's one of the ways these animals display dominance over one another during social interactions, both in the wild and here at SeaWorld. We just learned how killer whales use vocalization and body language to communicate with each other. But how, do you remember how we communicate with them? That's right, through signals. Here at SeaWorld, we communicate with our killer whales and we want the next generation to be able to do the same. Keep them stimulated and keep them learning. 
So take a look at the big screen. You'll see some examples of the toys that we provide for our animals. We can also get them kelp out of Mission Bay. And we can also make them a number of different types of gelatin that does not contain any sugar. Now all of these different toys that we give them help us to develop the relationships with them. Now how many of you have pets at home? Do your pets like the same things? You might notice that one dog or a cat might like a toy and another one might not. That's very similar to our killer whales. Um, all the whales that are out here right now seem to really enjoy ice cubes. So you can see Katie's giving them those uh, ice cubes. It's just make it out of fresh 